Hey, what's up with a happy Roblox family? So happy, so, so, so happy. With mom, dad, Daisy, Molly, and the baby. Cute baby. <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Cute little baby. La, 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 la. <laughs> We're the Star Squad smile. Today's a beautiful day! Really? Who are you and what'd you do with my sister Molly? What do you mean, Daisy? It's, it's me, Molly. No, it's not! You're an alien! I just know it! Uh, nope. That's definitely Molly. No, I don't think it is Molly. <laughs> She's never in that good of a mood about coming to daycare. Well, I am today! I don't know who you are, but you're not my sister. Daisy, yes, I am your sister. I'm not an alien. I'm just in a good mood today. Really? You always say, I'm going to high school. I'm not going to daycare. Well, today I'm super excited because it's fall. Look at all the trees. They look so beautiful. They're all different colors. And it's nice and cool outside. It's not so hot. It's been so hot where I live in Texas. It really has been like a million degrees. Yeah, it really has. Yeah, I'm so glad that it's over being so hot. Me too. See, there's lots of reasons to be in a good mood. But the biggest one is... Dun, 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 dun. It's almost Halloween. It's almost Halloween. Ooh, yeah, you're right. What are you going to be for Halloween? I think you're going to be a cat because I already see your cat ears. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about it. What about you, Daisy? I never tell. It's a secret. Did you guys look both ways? Ah, get out of the road. There's cars coming. Come on, Molly. We have to get in here. We don't want to miss breakfast. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They give you breakfast here. Oh, daycare is not so bad. Whoa. Look at this. This looks delicious. Breakfast pizza. My favorite. Mm, pizza. And what else do they have? Good morning. Uh, good morning, uh, cafeteria lady. Uh, it's really nice of you to, to give us breakfast pizza today. Oh, I'm so glad you're excited about it. I worked really hard. I stayed up all night making it. Whoa, you're a really dedicated cafeteria lady. <laughs> you work all night. That's just crazy. Okay, I also have... Why is it saying chicken? No, I want milk. Oh, no, no, I have two chickens. Um, maybe you should get some sleep because um, you made chicken for breakfast. Ew. So, Daisy, you're not going to tell anybody what you're going to be for Halloween? Dad, yeah. Well, Molly, are you going to tell us what you're going to be? I think I'm going to be... Get this, guys. A mummy. Molly, how are you going to be a mummy? Where are you going to get all the wraps from? I'm just going to use toilet paper. <laughs> you're going to wrap yourself in toilet paper? Yeah, I think it'll work really good. Well, I do think Molly has a point. It is going to work pretty good. She will look like a mummy. But what if it rains? All the toilet paper will melt. Oh, yeah. I hope it doesn't rain. <laughs> that would be bad. Look, guys. We beat the bus today. It says time to go home. I think that might be wrong. Yeah. <sighs> well, we could go home. Don't worry, Molly. Mm. Chicken for breakfast is not that bad. Oh, Buado. <laughs> that sounds gross. The breakfast pizza is delicious, though. I couldn't agree more. Ah, now I've had two breakfasts. Are you serious, Molly? You seriously um, had breakfast at home and now you're having breakfast here? Yeah. Hey, look, guys. It's the monthly home store. They always do this at daycare where you can come in once a month and buy stuff. Mm, no, no. Ooh, look at that one. It sort of looks like Chucky. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That totally does look like Chucky. I'm not going to buy anything from the home store just because, right, like today, because I'm wearing this adorable pumpkin shirt. It is so cute. I'm thinking, though, that I probably shouldn't have wore shorts because it's a little chilly out today. Oopsie, but it'll be okay because I'm going to run around a lot, so. Ugh, I'm not feeling so good. Brookie, are you okay? 
I don't know. Uh, my stomach just kind of hurts. No, I'm sure you're fine. No, I'm really, I'm really, oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, Brookie! Oh, no. Maybe something she ate. Anyway, I don't, did we eat the same things? Nah. Molly, look at all these adorable outfits. Yeah, they're adorable, except for this one looks like the Chucky doll. Ooh, creepy. Yeah, it does. I like my boo outfit. You mean your prison outfit? Jailbreak outfit, jailbreak outfit. Molly, don't tease me, Mom said you'll get um detention. Yeah, okay, it's cute, but it does look a little bit like the jailbreak prisoner outfits. No, because it says boo on it. Now, come on, we better get to class. There's a cooking class happening. Ugh, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, no, not you, kitty cat. That's what I'm calling you because you're wearing cat ears. Yeah, ugh, my stomach is just hurting. What's this all about? I don't know why we all jumped here, but I did it too. Daisy? Oh, I'm going to check on Brookie. Brookie? Brookie, are you okay? No, I'm laying down in the magic cot. I don't feel good. Oh my goodness, Brookie! I don't know, Molly, but my stomach is holding me right now. Oh, Daisy, you're fine. Come on. We have to get to class. No, seriously, Molly, my tummy is really, really hurting. Daisy, I think you just feel like sympathy pains for Brookie Cookie. Come on. Computer lab, music lab, art. Another computer lab. Where is everybody? I don't know, Molly. Maybe they're down here, guys. Okay, but... I'm, I'm not sure really what's going on right now. Hey, look at this. There's there's a sign on the wall. What's it say? It says... It says that... It says that everybody is out sick. What? No, there's somebody right there. And there's a teacher. Uh, Molly, no, I think everybody has the stomach bug. What? Yeah, apparently... Um... Uh, apparently, everybody basically uh, stayed home today, but we didn't get the memo. Oh, my gosh. And I really don't feel good, Molly. I have to go to the nurse. Daisy! Oh, am I the only one that didn't get the stomach bug today? Yes, I am. Uh. An elevator? Seriously? Am I on the first floor now? Well, I guess I got the whole school to myself. Because everybody else is home from school. And um, the people that I came with are in the nurse's office. So what will I do? What? Oh! Oh my gosh! If you try to go behind the teacher's desk or the administration's desk. Oh my gosh. It kills you. I'm new here today. Um, Do you like this daycare? Yeah, it's okay. But you should call your mom and go back home. Why? Because everybody got the stomach flu at my school. And... Basically, if you come in here, you'll get it too. I've already been exposed to it, so I'm just going to go back in. Okay, well, thank you. I'll think about that. You better. You don't want the stomach bug. Ugh. My tummy kind of hurts. Eh. It's probably that chicken I had for breakfast. Do, 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 do. Oh, my gosh. Ah! <laughs> Excuse me. Now I feel better. I'm going to go check on my friends. Rookie? <gasps> Where'd they go? Okay, maybe I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> Don't panic. There's Brookie. Oh, I can't wait till my mom gets here. Oh, I feel so sick. I don't know what everybody's talking about. I feel flat. Oh, my stomach kind of hurts. Oh, oh, no, Molly. You got the stomach bug, too. Daisy, where are you? I don't even see you, Daisy. Daisy's a ghost. Oh, my gosh. Where is Daisy? Not a ghost, Molly. I'm right here. Oh, Daisy, I don't feel good either. Well, you can't have my magic cot. This one's mine. Oh, tell the school nurse to call our moms. I already did, Molly. I already did. Oh, no. I'm going to have to lay on the magic cot. Oh. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh my gosh, you weren't lying! Everybody does have the stomach flu! I gotta get out of here! 
I wasn't lying, I told you! Uh, uh, the stomach flu, uh... Malia, you're just faking so you don't have to stay at daycare. Yeah, right. Uh, that'll teach me for eating chicken for breakfast. Yuck. Ah, <sighs> ah, <sighs> that was a long night. And I didn't get much sleep. Ugh, I have to go into the kitchen and get something delicious. I do it, my. Oh, hey, baby Kara, what you doing? Ugh, coffee. Lots of coffee needed. I get excited because today I am my first day of daycare. Your first day of daycare, huh? Wow, pretty exciting. Well, unless you're uh me. What do you mean, yes, I'm you? What do you have all that stuff packed in your backpack for? You're not going to need all that. I need it because I will need it. What, what is that? Another suitcase? Baby Kara, ugh, they're going to have everything you need there. Trust me. Snacks? Yep. Diapers? Yep. Everything. Well, except for maybe friends. What, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, uh, uh. Are you saying they can be bad? Well, no, not necessarily, but I remember when I first went to daycare. Oh boy, oh boy, my first day of daycare. I can't wait. I can't play with all the toys and make all new friends. Uh, it's going to be great. Good morning. Can I help you? I got I here for my first day of daycare. Name, please. Molly, Molly, did it, Molly. Okay, you're checked in. You can go play with the other kids. Hey, who are you? I'm Molly. What's your name? Freddy. And you're not allowed to play with any of the toys here. What? Yes, I am. I I I'm, I'm here to play with the toys. It's my first day of daycare. I own all the toys here. You can't play with any of them. Well, what about this hippo? No one seems to be playing with that. Mine. <laughs> See? Oh, okay, but how about I play with these blocks over here? Also mine. <laughs> I'm the only one allowed to play with anything. You can't play with anything ever. And by the way, you're kind of funny looking. Really? Y you don't want to be my friend? No, I'm not a friend. I'm a bully. <laughs> and your time at daycare is going to be your worst nightmare. <laughs> and, well, that's how my first day of daycare went. And pretty much the next few months. What? I don't want to go to daycare! Ah! Uh, baby Kara, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that... That doesn't mean that, baby Kara, where, where are you going? That doesn't mean your daycare experience will be the same, ba baby Kara? Oh my gosh, did she just run away? Daisy, uh, Daisy, we have a problem. Molly, I'm in my room. Doing my homework, of course, like the amazing student I am. Aww. Daisy, uh, 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 I might have done something wrong. Uh, like that's a big surprise. Wrong is your middle name. It is not, Daisy! Anyway, I'm time to fight with you. Baby Kira, she, she she ran away. What? She ran away? Are you serious? Or is this some sort of weird prank? No, she ran away. What could possibly make her do that? Molly! Why always blaming me? Like, I'm the one that did something wrong. Well, Molly, if the shoe fits, you're probably Cinderella. <laughs> oh, I'm Cinderella? Where's my prince? And besides, Cinderella doesn't do homework. So, no more homework for me. Molly, you missed the point entirely. Ay, ay, ay. What did you say to baby Kira to make her run away? Um, I just sort of told her about my first day of daycare. Molly, that's a scary story. Of course she ran away. Now she's not going to want to go. Ugh, let's go find her. I'm sure she just went to town. I hope so. And I hope we can get her there before daycare actually starts. Baby Kira! Baby Kira, where are you? Molly, it's no use. She's gone. Oh, no. Baby Kira? Baby Kira, talk to me! I'm not going ever to that daycare ever again. Oh, 
though she's talking, Baby Tuck, she's really stressed out. Baby Kira, get out from under that picnic table right now! I'm not going to go. You can't make me. Baby Kira, just because Molly had a bad first day at Dig Hill doesn't mean that you're going to. Yeah, Baby Kira. And we could go in with you. I don't think so. Yeah, come on, Baby Kira. You have to at least try. And if you don't like it, then you can come home. Really, Molly? Yeah, I mean, we can't make her stay if she doesn't like it. Okay, yes. We will let you go home if you don't like it. Okay, I can bow, but I'm not going to like it, and you have to get buy my ice cream if I don't. Okay, fine. I'll use my allowance to buy you ice cream. Now, come on. Let's go to the daycare center. Good morning, and who do I have here? Oh, good morning. I'm just helping my baby sister check into daycare. I'm not staying here. I'm not staying. Really? Why not, honey? Daycare is very fun. I'm Megan, by the way. Hi, Megan. I'm Molly. I have Baby Kira. Baby Kira, this looks like so much fun. Look at all the toys. Is this what you went to daycare? Um, uh, well, yeah. I'm not going! Yeah, but it was a long time ago. Megan wasn't here. I had some grump monster who just didn't even care if I was here or not. Oh, yeah, she got fired a long time ago. I took her place, though. I love kids. And I'm super nice, too. I think you'll have a lot of fun here, Baby Kira. Why don't you at least try it? You can call me on my cell phone if you don't like it. I try, um, but I'm not sure I want to stay, Molly. I know, I know. But trust me, you have to just, I don't know, give it a chance. Oh, boy. I remember this like it was yesterday. Oh, look, a toy. Someone going to try to take it? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Well, have fun, baby Kara. Bye. Bye, come back. You're going to be okay, Baby Kira, and just call me on my phone if you need anything. Hi, I'm Tommy. Hi, Baby Kira. Are you mean? Uh, no, I'm not mean. One time I got bullied, I didn't like it very much, so I decided not to be a bully myself. I know what you mean. I don't want to be a bully either. And I don't want I want to bully me. Well, maybe we could be friends. It's my first day at daycare. And my birthday too! Wanna play with hippos? I love hippos! I love to play that! Wow! I'm having a good first day so far! Maybe not everybody has a bad day at daycare! Not us! Not cause we're best friends! I Kira! Did I say that already? No! I'm Tommy! You said that already! Tommy, I like you! I like you too, Kira! My stomach. Oh, I don't feel good. Oh. Why does my stomach hurt so bad? Oh, Molly. Huh? What? Huh? What's, what's going on? <laughs> Daisy, why are you waking me up so early? It's not even seven o'clock yet. Molly, I need you. Come down here, please. Daisy, what? What's wrong? It's, it's my stomach. It hurts so bad. What? Well, well, did you eat something bad last night? Maybe maybe it's from the bean burritos or something. No, Molly, that's definitely not it. I'm serious. You probably just have to fart. Just try. Okay. Ew, Daisy! Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, you told me if I fought it, I'd feel better. And it's a lie! My stomach still hurts! Ew, that's super stinky. I have to get back into bed now, Molly. Oh, I can barely stand up. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh. Daisy, are you being serious right now or are you pranking me? Molly, I'm not pranking you. <laughs> I want mom. I don't feel good. Okay, I'll go get mom. Mom, mom, mom. Where are you? Mom, Daisy's really sick. Mom? Oh my gosh, it's Monday morning. Mom told me she had to leave early for work today. She's not even here. Oh my gosh, I have to try to take care of Daisy all by myself. 
Mom? Mom? Wait, where's Mom? Um, she had to leave early for work today, Daisy. What? No! I need my mom! Daisy, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. I just don't feel good. I've never felt so sick in my life. Okay, Daisy, well, uh, I'll think of something. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Wait a minute. If she's that sick, I should probably call an ambulance. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, my name is Molly, and my sister Daisy is having really bad stomach pains. Oh, well, maybe it's just gas, dear. No, it's not gas! She already farted, and it didn't make her feel better. Oh, okay, well, does she have any other symptoms? Daisy, do you have any other symptoms? Who are you talking to? 911. 911? No, I don't want to go to the hospital. I'm afraid. She says she's afraid and doesn't want to go to the hospital. Well, tell your sister, sometimes going to the hospital is the best thing you can do because they can help you there. I heard her and I don't care. I want to stay home. Okay, um, my sister's really sick. I don't want her to overhear this, but send an ambulance right away. Okay, dear. Thank you for calling. We'll send an ambulance right away. Molly, what are you saying? Um, nothing. I, I think you should just rest, okay, Daisy? I have to go get dressed now. Why, Molly? Um, I just do. Oh, my gosh. My sister's going to be so mad when she sees that I, I called an ambulance, but I think she really needs one. Molly, maybe I just need to have some Pepto-Bismol. Uh, Daisy, I'm not so sure that that's going to help. It looks like you're starting to run a fever now, too. Oh, wait. I hear somebody outside. Is that an ambulance I hear? Um, uh, no. Molly, you better not have caught an ambulance. Oh, yeah. She's totally going to be super mad at me about this one. But it's for her own good. Hi there. I'm Paramedic Smith. Uh, where's the patient? She's right this way, but she's really angry that there, there's a person here to take her by ambulance. Okay, well, I work for EMS, so um, I'm just going to see if I can talk her into going to the hospital. Because it sounds like maybe she needs to go. Yeah, good idea. Daisy, someone's here to see you. It better not be a... Oh my gosh, it's a paramedic. Oh, my stomach. Okay, sweetheart. All right, Molly, why don't you stand back over there, okay? I'm going to get in and take a look and see what's going on. Okay, Daisy, why don't you tell me what your symptoms are, honey? No, I'm not going to the hospital. Daisy, you don't want to get sick and die, do you? No, not really. Your sister's right. The hospital can help you. We have doctors and specialists there who will know exactly why your stomach hurts so much. And um, you have a pretty high temperature, so I'm going to need to take you in the ambulance. I'll be with you every step of the way, Daisy. Every step. I can't believe you called 911, Molly. Well, what would you have me do, Daisy? I mean, you're sick. You have to go to the hospital. Fine, Molly. Whatever. Daisy, I care about you. I'm really worried. Something is definitely not right. I know, Molly. That's why I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh, well, hi there. How can I help you? I'm just waiting for my sister to be wheeled in. She's having horrible stomach pain, doctor. I will take super good care of your sister. What's your name? Molly, and my sister's name is Daisy. Well, don't worry about a thing, Molly. We're going to fix your sister up. Thanks, because I'm really worried about her. Okay, Daisy. Thank you for being the most difficult patient in the entire world. Whatever, paramedic. Just drop me in the bed already. Daisy, no need to be rude. Well, ow, my stomach hurts. I can't help it. You. It's probably just gas, but it's better to check it out. Ugh, that paramedic tried to give me a ride back out into the hall. I told her it wasn't even my break time yet. <laughs> Molly, this isn't a laughing matter. Oh, sorry, but your doctor has a good sense of humor. What a great bedside manner you have. Oh, thank you. Okay, Daisy, you have quite a high fever and stomach pain. I'd like to give you an x-ray. I want my mom. Don't worry, Daisy. I already called Mom. She's rushing here right now. Okay, Daisy. I just need you to get right inside the x-ray machine. Excellent. It's really loud in here. Sorry about that. The machine is a little noisy. Okay, Doctor. Tell it to me, Sue. Wait. What's happening to me? 
Am I gonna go to the to the other side? The other side of what? <laughs> the hospital? No way. No, is it? Am I gonna die? Oh wow. Well, I can see exactly what the problem is. What is it? You have appendicitis. Appendo what? I don't want to have a panda in my stomach. Oh no, not a panda. Appendicitis. Yeah, precisely, a panda in my stomach. No, 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 no. Uh, you have something in your body called an appendix. And, well, yours is not working right, so we need to take it out. What? I need my appendix! No, you don't need your appendix, really. <laughs> it doesn't really do anything for you, except for be annoying. I don't want to have surgery. This is the worst day of my life. Daisy? Daisy! Mommy! <laughs> I was so scared without you. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry, but I'm here now. Everything's going to be okay, I promise. They say I have appendicitis. I know, honey. You are going to have to have your appendix out. I don't want to. That's scary. It's going to be okay, Daisy. I know it is. Easy for you to say. You get to keep your appendicitis. Oh, honey, it's your appendix. Appendix. I want to call it a panda, okay? Okay, Daisy, whatever you say. Oh, look, Daisy, I think they're going to be coming to take you to your surgery now. Mom, I can just stay here. Oh, my stomach! And live with your stomach like this? I don't think so, honey. You need to have this surgery. Everything will be okay. Here comes the doctor now. Okay, time to get that appendix out. It's Daisy Voorhees! Oh, <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow, uh, you really do have a good sense of humor. <laughs> Except for I think this one kind of scared my sister a little. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy town. Okay, Daisy, this might pinch a little, but it's anesthesia, which means you'll fall asleep and you won't feel any of your operation. I don't like shots very much. It'll only hurt for just a second. Ready? Okay. All done. All right. Now you should start counting backwards from 10. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Okay, the patient is out. Time to take out her appendix. Molly, what are you doing? I'm just running back and forth. I'm feeling a little bit nervous about Daisy right now. Molly, everything's going to be fine. I promise, honey. Oh my gosh, I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. Molly, sit down, please. Okay. Oh, I'm super nervous. Mom, is Daisy going to wake up or is she in a coma? No, Molly, she's not in a coma. She's just coming out of anesthesia. Let's go again. Hee hee. Ha ha ha. Hee hee. Why is she laughing hysterically? Um, well, sometimes people do funny things when they're coming out from anesthesia. Daisy, are you awake? I'm gonna eat all the ice creams with pickles on top. <laughs> I'm gonna ride a unicorn through the sky. <laughs> and I like cheese doodles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I've only got one thing to do. Mm, this is a delicious cheeseburger. Mm, sorry, I'm on my lunch break, but... I wanted to come in and tell you guys that, well, everything went well. Great! <laughs> I can't wait to make a video about this. I love unicorns, and I'm going to fly on board, but I eat ice cream with pickles. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> oh, Daisy, <laughs> you are so out of it. It's fabulous. I'm just glad that Daisy is completely okay. Me too! And I'm glad that I can show all the YouTube fans how cray cray Daisy acts when she's coming out of anesthesia. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I want to laugh too. <laughs> oh, Daisy, you're not going to like this video at all. Oh, baby Kira, aren't you excited? It's your first day of daycare. Whoa, whoa, I kind of went up on the curb. Oopsie. Ugh, driving your dad's car is so difficult. I wish my car wasn't in the shop. Oh, well, I eventually got it. <laughs> baby Kira, are you coming? 
Oh, Barn Girl, it's a prequel. Why not? You're going to make so many friends, honey. And your teacher, Jenna, I met her last week. She's so nice. Oh, Barn Girl, not going. Baby Kira, please get out of the car right now. I'm not going. Baby Kira, <laughs> we talked about this. Come on. Your teacher is so nice. You're going to have so much fun. I want to stay home all day and play with my toys. I don't know, but I don't know what you did, but what you did, but what All right, we're going to try not to talk baby talk because you're a big girl now. I'm not big girl. I do girl. I stay home. Come on, let's go in and just talk to the teacher. You can see me a hugging. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Mrs. Acker. Oh, who do you have behind you there? This is my daughter, Kira. She's being a little shy today since it's her first day of preschool. Oh, hi, I'm Jenna. Nice to meet you. You can't see me. I'm invisible. Oh, I don't think you're invisible because I can see you, sweetie. Look, you're going to have so much fun with the other kids. You're the first one here, though, so uh, maybe we can get to know each other. All right, baby Kira, I have to get to work. I'll see you later. Don't leave me here, Mama. Don't leave me here, Mama. It's going to be okay, baby Kira. Do you want a fuzzy stuffed animal to hug? No, I want to go home, play with my toys, and, and, and hug my stuffed elephant. Oh, you have a stuffed elephant at home? Well, here at preschool, we have a stuffed hippo. And he absolutely loves snuggles. Here, I'm going to give them to you, okay? I don't think this is going to work. Well, I'm sure it will, sweetie. Okay, I'm going to go check you in. And the other students should be arriving soon. Good morning, Miss Jenna. Good morning, Susie. It's so good to see you. It's great to see you, too. Hey, guess what? There's a new student here named Kira. Would, would you make her your friend, Susie? Of course I will. I love making everyone my friend. Great. She's right over here. Baby Kira, this is one of our other students, Susie. You guys, I think, will be great friends. I won't be anyone's friend. Oh, Baby Kira, that's not a very nice attitude to have on your first day of preschool. I don't need friends. I need my mommy. I need my mommy! Oh, sweet girl. Everything's going to be okay. Oh, look, Stephen's here. Good morning, Stephen. Hi. Whoa, you had a growth spurt over the weekend, I see. Will we have a new student, baby Kira? Come meet her, Stephen. Hi, I'm Stephen. I don't care. I want to go home. Wow, I think we need to have a better nice attitude, okay, baby Kira? I don't want to have to call your mommy. Yeah, call my mommy. This is total what did you just say? She said a bad word. Whoa, teacher, baby Kira said a bad word. <laughs> okay, Steven, not funny. Baby Kira, we do not say that word. I'm sorry you're sad you're at preschool, but this is where your mom says you, needs to, you need to be. I want to. This is total All right, everyone, just play with the toys. I'll be right back. Oh, my gosh. I've never had a student say that word before. Um, I think I should call her mom. Hi, this is Mrs. Acker. How can I help you? Hi, um, this is Jenna from the preschool and... Oh no, what happened? Is baby Kira all right? Um, yes, but, um, well, we're a little shaken up right now because baby Kira said a naughty word. What? She's never said a naughty word in her entire life. Well, she did. What word did she say, Jenna? She said, What? Are you serious? I, I can't believe this. Well, she did. I don't know what you want to do about it, but um, I'll be right there. I need to see baby Kira for myself. Yeah, it'd probably be better if you pick her up. Maybe she's just not ready for preschool yet. I want to go home. I want to go home. You know what, baby Kira? I don't know if you're really ready for preschool yet, but your mommy is coming. Really? I could go home, play with my toys, and be with my mommy. But here's something for you to think about, baby Kira. Every child, well, they have sometimes a difficult transition starting school. It's okay to be afraid or to even miss your mommy or daddy. But eventually you're going to make friends here and have so much fun. I want to have fun. Hello, is anyone here? Oh, yeah, we're back here in the play center. 
Hi, Mrs. Acker. I'm sorry to have to call you during the work day. Mama! 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 I'm just so shocked that she said such a naughty word. Not my daughter. I'm sorry, but I just don't think this is even possible. You must have misheard her. Well, Mrs. Acker, she said it twice. I'm pretty sure I didn't mishear her. Well, maybe you did. I mean, have you had your annual hearing screening? Yes, I had my annual physical with my hearing tested. Okay, I'm just saying, maybe you have some wax in your ears because my daughter doesn't say naughty words. Um, okay, well, um, uh, do you want to bring her back tomorrow or do you think maybe she needs to be home for a little longer and she's not ready to start pre-K? She's ready and we'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> this was all just a big misunderstanding. Okay, well, baby Kira, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully with less of a potty mouth. Okay, Susie, Steven, let's um gather up. We're going to get our snacks going. Oh, hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was just wondering, are you excited about your half day? Yeah, you should come over and hang out. It'd be super fun. Sorry, I can't. I've got a ton of chores to do. Ugh, that sounds like the pits. Totally does. Now, baby Kira, I expect you to tell me the truth. Did you say a naughty word? Um, Brookie, there is some sort of drama going on here. Um, I'll call you back later, okay? Okay, Molly, bye. Bye. What? Baby Kira said a naughty word? Uh, no, I didn't say it. I said stinky potatoes. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the oldest line in the book. She didn't say stinky potatoes. Um, well, I, I, uh, well, you can try preschool again tomorrow. Maybe we'll have better luck. Molly, what are you guys doing? Uh, we're watching some TV since we're home early from school. Early dismissal is the best day ever. I had the worst day ever. I was total. Holy guacamole! Where did you hear that? I uh, hear what? That super naughty word. You can't say that. That's a that's that, 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 that's a very naughty word. Ah! Oh my gosh! Girls, what's going on? Um, baby Kara said a naughty word. Really? What naughty word? You better whisper it in your ear, Mom. That's what I thought she said. Baby Kira? I can't believe this. Jenna was right. She didn't have wax in her ears. That is very naughty. You are not supposed to say that. Oh, why even um, go back to you tomorrow? Well, you're not only going back to pre-K, but you're also going to have your time out for the first time. Whoa. Your first time out. This is a big deal, baby Kira. I want to. <laughs> you know the timeout chair. You've seen your sister Molly in it plenty of times. Go sit in it. Oh, me? No, I haven't been in the timeout chair that many times. Yeah, right, Molly. <laughs> you spend more time in the timeout chair than you do anywhere else. Can't believe my foot timeout. <laughs> Don't worry, baby Kira. The timeouts get easier as they go on. You sort of entertain yourself by thinking things in your mind, like, what kind of snack do I want when I get out of timeout? Molly, no talking to the prisoner. Sorry, baby Kira. You're in this alone. <laughs> Poor kid. I remember my first time out. It was not fun. <laughs> I can't believe today is my first day at Twilight Daycare. This is going to be so much fun. I guess if if everybody accepts me as an angel, that is. I don't see any other baby angels in this entire daycare. Hi, I, I like your wings. Oh, thank you. You want to play? Um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to play with baby angels. What? But baby angels are so nice. Why not? I, I, I'm just not sure I'm allowed to. That's all. I have to ask my mommy first. And she's not here. Bye. Oh, no one wants to play with me right now. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Um, Do, do you want to play, Ashley? Go away. I don't like baby angels. They're weird. Wait, have you even ever met a baby angel before? I'm not weird. I'm, I'm really nice. Then why do you have wings and no one else does? That's just weird. I don't know why nobody likes me. They haven't even given me a chance. I mean, I'm really nice and 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 no one really likes me here. I want to go home. I want my mommy. 
Is one of the kids crying? I think I hear somebody. Yeah, me! No one likes the baby angel! <laughs> Please, somebody pick me up! I need a diaper change and a bottle! Just because I'm a baby angel doesn't mean that I'm totally weird or something! I mean, I have wings, but who cares? I need a bottle! Get me one! Up! I want to come up! Oh, okay, little baby angel. Are you having a rough first day? Everything's gonna be alright, I promise. No one wants to be my friend. Well, I'll be your friend. Come on, let's go outside and, um, I could take you to the playground or something. Um, okay, but is it time to go to the playground right now? Sure it is. <laughs> well, we could go over here and you could camp out. But no one else is camping out. Why are you making me sit all the way over here? I don't like it. I want to be by myself. I want to go play with the other kids. Okay, are you a baby angel or a baby demon? I'm not really sure. Um... Are you sucking your thumb, baby angel? Yeah, I like to suck my thumb. It makes me unhappy when I can't. Whoa, <laughs> you do turn into a baby demon when you're hungry. Yeah, can I have a bottle, please? Please, please, please. Okay, I'm going to wiggle out of your arms because you're not giving me what I want. Hey, come back here, baby angel. What do you think you're doing? Whoa, look at this one. She looks like a, an experienced mommy. Excuse me, today's my first day at daycare. I was wondering, um, can, can, can you pick me up? Please, 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 please. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm here waiting for my daughter right now. Oh, no one wants to play. No one wants to give me a bottle or a diaper change either. Whee, this scooter is fun. Ow, you ran into me. I'm thirsty and you ran over my foot. Get over it. You're such a whiny angel. Ugh, oh, you're annoying. I need it. I need a drink. I need a bottle. I need a bottle. Why are you picking up that baby? Um, because I don't complain as much as you. You're annoying. Uh, what I want, I want. Uh, uh, I need a bottle. Uh. Oh, poor little baby. I'm sorry, but I'm taking care of Jacob right now. Why isn't there anybody here to take care of me? I don't like this daycare. I give it one star. I'm giving it one star on Google. Fine, I guess I'll just go over here. Sit by myself in the corner till my mom gets back. Whoa, are you okay? Why are you crying? Because I need a bottle. I'm thirsty and no one feed me here. Oh, well, just go ask one of the caregivers. They'll give you a bottle and then you can come back and play. Whoa, are you a baby demon? No, these are just my cat ears. I like to play with them sometimes. I need a bottle. Oh, now you need a bottle. Well, pff, I needed a bottle before. And hey, you look a lot like my sister Daisy. I'm not your sister. Excuse me, I need a bottle. Hello, hello. Teacher, caregiver person, give me a bottle. Oh, why can't I get a bottle around here? Seriously, I'm so thirsty. Oh, I want a bottle. Give me a bottle. Okay, I'm just going to say this right now. Um, I am a Roblox video star, so you should give me a bottle. Oh, you are? Oh, finally, you're paying attention to me now. Oh, I see how it is. I had to tell you I was a video star to just get some attention around here. And it's not very nice. Aw, it's going to be okay. I need to go potty. I need to go potty. I need to go potty. Oh, my gosh. You just dumped me in the street. You should not be a caregiver. Ser seriously, can you please give me a bottle and a diaper change? I have to go potty. Okay, okay. Boy, you sure are grumpy. Yeah, if you had a dirty diaper and your stomach was growling, you'd be grumpy too. Whoa, I got put in the carrier. Ooh, now I get put. Wait, am I going to be in the stroller or the carrier or what? No, I'm just going to carry you piggyback on my back, okay? Okay, fine, but where are we going? Can I have a bottle? I'm so thirsty, I'm going to die. Why doesn't anybody want to help me? Um, I'm going to look for a bottle for you, okay, little baby angel? Okay, but I hope you hurry. I'm starving. Okay, you're taking me to the beach. Wow, that's super cool, but I'm still hungry. I need a bottle. Okay, I gotta I gotta try to type to this person. I need a bottle! Bottle. How do you spell that? I'm a baby. I don't know. I need a bottle! Oh, look. There's a bottle over there, I think. Oh, wait. No, maybe not. Wee! This was so much fun. Give me something to drink! Okay. Okay. Fine. I'll take you back to the daycare and someone can give you a bottle. 
What? Somebody? No! You have to give me a bottle! Also, I smell like stinky doo-doo. I, I went potty. Seriously, I went, I went potty! Can I please have a diaper change? Okay, I'll find someone to change your diaper to. Wait, aren't you the caregiver? Don't you? Why are you running in circles? Oh, you don't look so good. Here you go. What? You, you're just leaving me on the street? By myself? Ah! Twilight daycare stinks! Why are you crying? I'm right back. Because you left me in the street by myself! I was coming right back for you, duh! Oh my gosh, I think that unicorn horn might go into your brain. It is, it's affecting your thinking! Okay, you're obviously not gonna give me a bottle. I, I need to get out of here. I have to go in search of a bottle for myself. Excuse me, do you know where I can get a diaper change in a bottle? Hi! Oh, hi, can I, can I get a diaper change in a bottle? I wish I knew where to tell you to do that. Maybe she can help you. Oh, hi. I'm, wait, can you not drop me? Ah, why doesn't anybody want to give me a diaper change? Ew, that one's really stinky. Don't get near the baby angel. She's smelly. Okay, fine. I'll just give myself a diaper change. I want my mommy. Score. Baby food. Hopefully I can reach it. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I just want some food. Okay, if you're a baby, do not come to... Do not come to Twilight Daycare because they starve you here and <laughs> they won't give you a bottle. And also they won't change your diaper. I've had poo-poo in my diaper for an hour! That's not right. That is not right. Excuse me! Oh my god, your baby's getting a bottle. I need one too. Please, I need a bottle. I need a bottle! Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull on this lady's pants until she until she until she pays attention to me! Here you go, little boy. Aw, you need a bottle, huh? I need a bottle, too, please! Aw, I'm so hungry. I guess I'll just lay here with my yucky diaper. Look at my diaper! Uh, I'm not feeling so good. Uh, I'm probably not even going to make it. I'm not going to make it! Baby angel down! Huh? Why are you bouncing me up and down? Uh oh, I'm gonna throw up. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and then she dropped me. Seriously. Oh my gosh! Nobody loves me at the daycare. Ugh. Well, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I need a diaper change. I'm dirty. And now I'm getting really sleepy. Oh, there's somebody new. Excuse me. Um, could you please give me a diaper change? Um, I just got a job here and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, well, you could help me. Because I, I poo-poo in my diaper. Ew, ew, is that part of this job? Yeah, help! Okay, little baby angel, it's time for a nap. Uh, do you think I could have a bottle first and maybe... Da-da-da, da-da-da. But my diaper is poo-poo! Don't put me in this crib! Ah, my baby angel got any attention! Oh, it's okay, Savannah, just give me a minute. I'm putting the baby angel in her bed. But... But I need a bottle! Uh-oh, I'm feeling very tired. Uh. Now I can't sleep! I'm, I'm, I'm awake! I, excuse me, can I have a diaper? Please! Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my goodness, you have a lot of things you need, don't you, little baby angel? Yeah, I, I, I need... Okay. I need a diaper. And I need a bottle. And... Um, what else? I need food. Oh, okay. Well, I'd be happy to get those things for you. Oh, finally! Someone cares about me. Little Babel, baby angel -y. Wow, you're not very good at singing, are you? Well, I'm trying my best, okay? Okay. Well, let's go ahead and give you a bottle. I'm starving! Thank you so much! Okay. That's really good. Ugh. Ugh, so hungry. Oh, are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm feeling so much better. Okay, I need a diaper now, okay? Okay, well, let me burp you first. I need diaper! How would you like to have poo-poo in your pants? Oh, yeah, that does sound pretty yucky. Come on, we'll go over to the restroom and I'll give you a diaper change. Finally! Oh, you're the best person ever. Wait a minute, you have me back in the nursery. This is not where I get my diaper change. Do not put me back in my crib. I need a diaper! 
What good is it to feed a baby and then just leave its diaper dirty? I mean, you know that the food's gonna go through there and I'm gonna need another diaper change. Oh man, what are we doing now? Sorry, baby angel, I have to feed this baby too. Okay, but I have a stinky diaper. The kids will smell it! it smells so stinky! I'll change your diaper. Nah, just kidding. What? Okay, can you change my diaper? Wait, who am I? Who's changing my diaper? Oh, sorry, you have to sit here for a while. What? No, I need a diaper change! Okay, I'm just gonna go into the restroom and see if I can change it myself because. Ow! Ow! What are you doing? I'm changing everyone's diaper as at once. Wait, no! I. But you're going back into the kitchen. Okay, well she's getting me some food, so I guess that would be helpful. Okay, but then can you change my poo-poo diaper? Well, of course I will. Here's some food. Hmm. This is really good. Mm hmm. Hmm. I was so hungry. Thank you. You're welcome, baby angel. Hmm, now you're dirty and you need a diaper change. Okay, let's burp you. What? No, I don't want to be burped. Don't burp me! Blech. See, I told you you needed to be burped. Ew, gross. Now it's time to change your diaper. Finally! Oh, no more poo-poo in my diaper. I'm so happy. Okay, I just need to get one clean diaper. And here we go. Oh, finally! Oh, you don't know how much this means to me, seriously. I'm going to bless you forever. Oh, yeah, you are a baby angel. You can do that, can't you? Absolutely. It looks like you also need a bath. No kidding! When you've had a dirty diaper for that long, that's exactly what you need. <laughs> oh, you're a silly little mischief-making angel, aren't you? Totally! <laughs> Aw, see, you're all happy now. Do you like Twilight Daycare? Well, at first I thought it was awful, but it's starting to look up. Good. Well, have fun making friends, little angel. I've got other babies to care for. Thank you. You're the best caregiver ever. You're so nice. Aw, I'm so glad you're happy here. Well, it's almost time for your mom to come. What? I don't want to go home. I want to stay here. Sorry, Molly, but you definitely have to go home. Your mom and dad will miss you. Oh, I really like daycare. I don't want to go home. It's okay. You can come back again tomorrow.